its job here. Are you being a spokesmodel? Yeah, that's the one. Do I, is, this, is it that way? That way. <laughs> it's like doing Vogue. <laughs> I don't really know like why I am today in a minute. How square is your box? <laughs> How round is your ball? Oh, that one, the accordion one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. You get me laughing already. Yeah, we'll be doing I Am The Music Man in a minute. Oh, now that's one that I can never keep up with. Pia, pia, piano. Yeah. Um, pa, pa, um, pa, um, pa, pa, um, pa, pa, um, pa, pa. Coming, um, coming from Portsmouth and being used to seeing all the ferries, when I grew up, I thought that was about piano ferries. <laughs> pia, pia, piano, piano. <laughs> oh, wow, that is the ferry song. <laughs> well, that's like Jake and the I Spy with My Little Eye in the car. CC and three hours to get to chocolatey Claire's. Chocolatey. <laughs> well, if you've never seen it written down, that's what it sounds like, isn't it? it, it you know, I mean, that it's is, kids. It's brilliant. I love it. And they yeah. are chocolatey. Yeah, and apparently Claire's. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure Claire's enjoy them. Jake's do as well. Yeah. I got a message earlier that the cakes were top. So which cakes? I made some muffins today and in Aldi they were flogging off all the Christmas frosting, you know, the butter icing that they do. And there was a uh, gingerbread icing which I'd have loved, but he didn't fancy at all. Doesn't like ginger, unless it's in a stir fry. Right. Um so the other option was chocolate orange frosting so i just did some big muffins and and took the tops off i, I don't do butterfly cakes because i can't do pretty and i can't do straight cuts right okay so i just slap hack the tops off as best i could slapped a big wadge of icing on yeah palette knife to make it as flat as possible wang the tops back on so they look a bit wobbly and a bit messy but apparently they're top so today you were the muffin man. I was the muffin man. Excellent. But not from Drury Lane. Oh, all right then. Well, it's a bit of a way and you're not allowed to travel at the moment anyway. I know, yeah. Well, I'm not sure how far we're not allowed to travel, but anyway, it's Well, fine. apparently if you ask someone, it's five miles and if you ask someone else, it's 20, so. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. I think it depends whether you're going for a bike ride or a walk, really, doesn't it? Do you know, I just haven't been anywhere out of the village. I go through the fields I always go through with Coco at the moment because Mocker is still on house arrest. Yeah. Um, and she comes back wet and muddy. I come back wet and muddy. I clean us off best I can. Yeah. Uh, them two reunite. Mocker washes Coco's feet. Aww. Yeah. And then sort of spits it all over the blanket. You know, it's very cute. Nice. Yeah. So uh, I, I don't really see the point of me taking them to the beach in the car because I feel that's an unnecessary journey. And if I fall over and break my stupid ankle, yeah, then someone's got to get the dogs home, someone's got to get the car home, someone's got to get me to hospital. It's a lot of hassle when I could just go in the village and be a lot safer and no risk of a car accident or a dog getting out or... Same with us. I mean, in the holidays when Phil was home, we were taking him in the car. There was well, that's fair there. enough, yeah. And there were, there were two of us, so, you know, it was fine. But now I'm on my own. And also, it's easier. Just pop your boots on. I literally just walk across the road and there's a field. Well, that's the same with me. Top of my street, over to the church, out into the fields, lovely footpaths. Yeah. Apart yeah. from the mud and the snow at the minute. Yeah. Yeah. So what have you got? Have you got... Builders tea today? Builders tea. I was in need of it. I had tenants committee meeting this afternoon, which was hard going. Um, lots of thinking and discussion. Uh, and then my dad wanted to Zoom chat about something, which he said would take half an hour. Okay. Uh, and then half an hour into the phone call, my auntie phoned, and we were still there at half past five. Oh, my goodness. So me. I was saying, like, I'm live at six o'clock on Facebook, so I really need to go now. Bye. <laughs> 
but you know we were discussing all the family dramas and all of that you know it's like it's just daft stuff um i haven't got a whip hmm. this is uh james brett yarn um where's the yarn label <laughs> it's we woodlander double knitting definitely blue it's got some blue uh l9 is the color I've got two balls of this. I think they came from Jackie. It's a yarn I really like. It's called L9. That's really that's yeah. Isn't it's it? yeah. It's lazy. It's got yeah. a a dirty denim blue. It's got a little bit of grey. It's got a creamy colour. Some camel. Some very light brown. It's all beachy colours. They could have called it Dirty Beach or something, couldn't they? I mean, how fab would that have been? I'd have really liked that, yeah. yeah. Uh, but they didn't, so, you know. And you have to think about Rowan with their colour naming. I mean, at one point, there was a brown that was called Sludge. <laughs> and I, I was just waiting for them to do Snot Green. <laughs> and and then whether they would go as far as, like, a dried bogey versus a fresh bogey. And oh, that, God, yeah. yeah. yeah the what? variations of you got to get the right green. The, it, it could have been dried bogey after you've been breathing in asbestos dust or something like that. You know, the, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, but I just think they've been a bit lazy. So I can see you're still working on your shawl. I'm working on my shawl. I am actually on the last section. I don't know if you can see in this light, but it is an even darker blue. Oh, yeah, we can see the difference. Proper, proper navy. So, um, and then when this ball is gone, it will be finished. It's nice and big. So I'll be able to wrap it round nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just go around there like that. No. Hang on. Let's do it properly. That's, it. that's perfect. I love it. Love it. Yeah. 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 So um, I've got a lot of ends to deal with. You know, it's quite annoying because you can't, you know, because it's garter, I want all the joins on the same side and the correct side so that you don't get all the horrible, like, lines and things. And when you've got enough yarn to do one row, but you can't do two, and you think, oh, I'm just going to have to leave that. And then you end up with, like, that much. Never mind, eh? Yeah, first world problems. First world problem. <laughs> And also, another first world problem, I've been in the loft this afternoon. Oh. Um, I don't know if you remember, Sunday I said I felt like I was in the dark in here. It just seemed a lot darker than normal. Right. So I've actually been up in the loft myself. I didn't send Callum. And I've got down the Christmas fairy lights. <laughs> Ooh. Strewn <laughs> them all over the place. Um. I don't know if, if I tilt if you can see. Oh them. yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Them. So I've got two hundred white fairy lights in my surroundings. I think that's really nice. It's it's lovely actually. I like looking at them. I've turned them on to just permanent because I thought I don't want to be flashing lights and giving anybody any upsets, you know. No, no. Um but if I was sat here on my own I might put them on flashing. So yeah. Cheers me up. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Have we got was... any feathers? Are we, are we talking just to ourselves? I think there's... No, not that I mind talking just to you. But... No, I think there's three. There were five earlier, so we've obviously turned a few off. Oh, <laughs> the bear was not like my shawl. Oh, maybe it was it, the bogeys. It my face enough. <laughs> Could have been the bogeys. It could have been. So I, I did uh, make a purchase this week. Oh, we have yeah. an acquisition. Yeah, it's not stashed though. Oh, it's the no. new Pinch of Nom cookbook. Oh, very nice. Which is, um, it's all calorie counted and it's it's based on Slimming World principles, but because they don't have a license with Slimming World, um, they've had to pay them off big time for their first book, I think. Uh, okay. So it's full of nice recipes. Um, interesting meals and things like that so 
Oh, that looks tasty. Yeah, um, and it's all calorie counted as well. So if you're not doing a particular plan, you're just watching your calories. And it's got a code that goes through it as to which section it's in, whether it's kind of an everyday thing or whether it's a bit more indulgent, so perhaps once or twice a week. So, you know, you do, you're not just going through and thinking, yeah, I'm going to have that five times a week because it's lovely and then find you've gone over your calories. Or... Yeah, that wouldn't help, would it? No, it wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I've, I've been going through that with little post-it notes and thinking like, mm. so there's a couple of stir fries I want to try and I've got some pork fillet in the freezer that I was going to defrost and do um, a Dijon mustard sauce for the pork. Very nice. Which I think would be a nice change. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Having something different. Oh, Helen Curzon's in the house and Ooh, Rita's hi. here. Hello. Rita. How are you doing? Have you got a drink, ladies? What are you on? Oh, and Perrin Yarns. Who, who's hi, that? Stephanie. So, hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Nice to have you join us. I have water as my glass of red wine on the table waiting for dinner to finish cooking. can see and hear you both, but not enlarge the view. I'll reply to your comment, Lorraine, for some reason. Well, that's a bit odd. Ah, well, I have red wine. Have you? In celebration of it being my wedding anniversary today. Yes, of course. Happy anniversary. 22 years, yes. Yeah. Did you, yeah. Get, a Did you get a medal with that? um unfortunately not mind you if you condensed it down into the time we spent together it would probably be more like seven or eight years <laughs> well it's like like that with mike and i it's, oh gosh you know, yeah. yeah yeah mad isn't it i know barely heard from him and then i got three phone calls yesterday i thought was thought he was all right thought the car was on fire <laughs> so, so, so did you well, the third phone call, I said, did you butt dial me? <laughs> no, I meant to ring. I was going to tell you about such and such. It's so. okay. Go away. I've already spoken to you. Ring me in six months. Oh, Helen says, no, drinking tea whilst waiting for Chef James to bring the dinner. Ooh. Oh, what have you got for your dinner, oh, Helen? Happy. Oh, Helen and uh, Stephanie have both said happy anniversary. Congratulations. Oh, okay. So, yeah, medal definitely deserved, I think. Yeah. Uh, would you like to borrow the Duke of Hastings tonight? Well, I can let you have it as soon as it's your anniversary. Or would you like me to send Henry? Oh, spoiled for choice. Which I one? Really, oh, that's put me on the spot now. Oh, you have to choose. You can only have one. Really? It is my yeah, anniversary. We, well, you can have the other one tomorrow. All right, then. We'll go, we'll go for... We'll, as we don't want him to get upset again, we'll go for Henry first, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we don't want him stressing himself out that no, he's been rejected. He wouldn't be very happy. So, uh, yeah. Stephanie, if you don't know that uh, Henry Cavill belongs to us. So he's, well, he's ours. specifically, normally. Mostly mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Helen says she can't remember she ordered before Christmas. All right, is this one of these um, meals delivered? that you've got coming what is, is this like a, a local restaurant doing a takeaway or something that sounds like a really good idea what did you order for us helen yeah i'm just waiting for a knock on the door now i i could go um some nice triple cooked chips the big chunky ones bless oh that would be nice cooked yeah. in goose <gasps> oh don't don't we should all be on a diet, shouldn't we? <laughs> I am on a diet. It's the seafood and eat it diet. I'm just yeah, and I'm I'm getting there. I've I'm a step closer with the fresh book and some new ideas, and uh, Jake is steadfastly working his way through all the cake, chocolate, and snacks in the house. Good man. Yeah, you see him going upstairs with like a pile of cupcakes or yeah. or biscuits and cheese and because we've got several cheese selections that you bought that were in the fridge and he's eating his way through those and he just nods and says, saving you from yourself, mum. He's a good lad, he really Yeah, is. always thinking of me. <laughs> so is anybody knitting? What have you got on your needles? Or are you hooking? Have you got something on your hooks? Oh, yeah. Has anybody progressed on their um, Finish Your Frogs that they were talking about at the weekend? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I had frogged my skiff hat and remade uh, another hat. 
which I think you'll have seen on Instagram. Because it was half done on Sunday, wasn't it? Have you not got it there? Um, I can probably get up and wander across the room. If you give me a second. I can't believe you've left it out of reach. I'm just lazy. Oh. 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 What's she doing there? There we go. Did you knock everything over to get that? Sorry? knock everything over to get that it sounded like oh I, I had to kick a big uh, cardboard box out of the way the oh. recycling guys haven't been again that's four weeks <gasps> that's shocking so yeah i've got i've got sort of um amazon stockpile of, that hat. of cardboard um i thought it looked like sort of diamond quilted fabric you know from like these school coats we used to get yeah years ago but someone else said the crown reminded them of a globe artichoke we saw that comment, yeah. It's mm. yeah. So it's got a name. Um, at the moment, the working title is just quilted. So it might end up being, because it's going to be part of the basics collection, is quilted for my pleasure. And the one that goes with it will be ribbed for my pleasure, because obviously my pleasure matters. No one else's really does. But you don't fancy quilted artichoke then? Uh, I don't know. Because that would cause some, like, ooh, what's a quilted artichoke? Well, they might, yeah. It, it's, if nothing else, it'd be a talking point. So, yeah, it was really easy. I wanted, I wanted the basics stuff to be about knit and purl. Yeah. And just about what you could do with that without having to learn anything else other than a few decreases. Definitely. So that was my logic. And that's sort of a close-up of the crown. It's really nice. Uh, I, I mean, what do you have left? Uh, where's the ball gone? No, it's over the other side of the room. About that much of a. I'd, I'd have to tell you. I'd have to weigh it to to okay. know how much was left. It was it, enough not to cause you a heart attack, but not too much to be a waste. It probably was too much to be a waste. Right. It'll, it'll end up being a contrast on something else. I've got some more of the same yarn. Probably about a ball and a half of cash soft Aaron. It's Rowan uh, cash soft um, in a pink. Mm. So I could probably get away with doing a bit of colour work or striping with the pink and the blue. And that would be enough to do a hat or some little mitts or something. That was the logic. Sounds good. Yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to lose some up. So, right. Um, Stephanie's saying, is he a human? <laughs> uh, it depends if he's a witcher. Well, yeah, absolutely. Mutant. Uh, local, Helen says, local chef who delivers, only does Peter Bis, sadly, will need to visit. And she's working on a sleeve on Edward's green jumper. Ooh, ooh. We saw this the other day, didn't we? It got um, beige contrast. Yes. Um so steph says stephanie sounds very formal so please call me that she's sewing in the ends on her blanket so oh, lovely this blanket but i've not seen it have you got a ravelry project page for that could we see a foot because we could we go to that oh here we go rita's finished a shawl this morning not blocked yet color is a bit off in this photograph so let me just share that you know we love to root around in people's knicker drawers oh absolutely oh rita that is gorgeous yeah we've been looking at this over a few weeks haven't we it's absolutely yeah. beautiful really really pretty is that is that mine 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 <laughs> it's not blue no no i meant actually is it rita's mine so, nice nice try emma not giving it away is what i meant i can't remember if it was a donation is it really I'll ask that. Rita will put me right. Yeah. Helen, Helen says that's the one. Yeah. And she it says Rita's shawl, Rita's shawl is beautiful. It is. It's really beautiful. And Steph has failed. Fallen oh at the goodness. first hurdle. No picture yet. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. Yeah. Must try harder, Steph. Yeah. 
<laughs> B minus right there, isn't it? That's not even a tip B G. Oh, I know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, what is, it, what is it they say in football? Left back. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Left back on the bench. Oh dear. Shocking. We can't oh, yeah. be rummaging around if there's no photos. I oh, know. I'm very really, really could do with the haircut, but there you are. Oh, look at that. I love that photo. And then there's the artichoke. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I really like the texture. I'll just have to play around with the sizing and that sort yeah. of thing. But yeah, all good. All I've fun. Got, um photos this week. Um of some oh. I started working on them absolutely ages ago. In fact, I think I started working on them round about the time we went into lockdown. Oh, oh, Steph says, sorry, miss, she's going to try harder. Well done, Steph, you do that. Mar Marvellous, you get a gold star for every picture. Uh, Rita says, it is a donation and it's a comfort shawl. Oh. I, I thought it was. Excellent. So, yeah, I went out in the snow. You couldn't really tell that it was snow. Hang on, I'm just having a little quick through my Ravelry. And I made them in March. The 6th and the 8th of March. That is amazing, isn't it? And I've just taken some photos. Do you want to have a look? Yes, please. Okay, share screen. Let's have a look. Share screen. 6th <laughs> six, six and 8th of March. We weren't even in lockdown then, were we? I know. Oh, have you gone thingy or is it me? What? Oh, I think I've killed you. Let me stop. I'm having I'm having real issues because I've not only done this wrong. Look, I just want to share a screen. Why is it same presentation act active? Sorry, it says presentation active. Oh, I don't know. It's just having five. Have you clicked share screen? I did, yeah, and then it went right, and then you have to select Chrome tab or whatever. It didn't let me do that, but anyway, you've gone a bit echoey and i think it's just me i've killed my thing <laughs> technology emma strikes again what have i done e emma is our resident tech guru <laughs> for anyone that's wondering uh, her, her job is to find a way to break absolutely anything in a way that the developer never thought was possible <laughs> she's, she's almost as good as my dad i, I <laughs> I just hope that everybody else isn't hearing this really bad echo because I'm going to be killing their ears almost as good as my singing it is. You can't hear the echo, can you? No. No, I hope if anybody can hear the echo, they'll have to tell me. I might have to leave and come back in. I'll try not to share my screen in future. <laughs> um, um, no. No, I've, I've got a couple of patterns in... Um, my basket on Ravelry in my cart. Oh god. Let's have so, a look. So let's have a look at my cart. Um oh you could look on my Ravelry. I could. But you're not gonna <laughs> I will in a second. So I've got got this Twigs of Winter cardigan which is um can you see it? I can see your basket. Right, okay. Go to oh, that. Now can I you see it, it now? Yeah. Okay. That is gorgeous. I just thought it was really pretty, nice and simple, mm -hmm. bit of interest. That is really lovely. Really like the shoulder line. Are those like twisted stitches then? Yeah, travelling rather yeah. than... It's like, a two, front, two, right? it's like a two-stitch cable, really. Can we see the front? No. Oh, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's lovely. No, I don't want to. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> It's quite a high neck, but then it's for that time of year when, you know, you need a higher neck. I thought that was nice. It's on offer at the moment. The price goes up soon. You don't have to wear um, though, do you? Uh, I like this one. It's a bit shorter than I would wear. Oh, I like that. I like the slightly bell sleeve and I like the details on the cuff. Oh, those are lovely. Tiny bit of patterning, travelling stitches and a, just a simple dot stitch. And then it's got the wiggly traveling stitch patterning before the ribbing on the collar i mean just... the body you can just knit it longer surely oh you can knit it longer um 
I would need to add some shaping for hips and belly perhaps, but very pretty details, very simple, nice, easy, off the shoulder, slouchy sort of knit. What's the construction? Is it in the round? Is it flat? Uh, it's, yeah, it's bottom up. Most of hers are bottom up. She doesn't do a lot of top down knits. Okay. It's lovely. Yeah, it's drop shoulder. I can see that there. Yeah. Yeah, very pretty. Uh, what else? I've got oh. these two from Isabel Kramer. Just for a change. I was going to say, you know, oh, oh, that's a bluey grey there. It is blue. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, you've seen how much rib there is, though. Yeah, and I like the fact that she's put a ribbon through there. Isn't that a nice contrast, that sort of foxy brown? That is gorgeous. And you could put a ribbon through there if you wanted, or even on your cuffs. I just think it's very simple, easy to dress up, easy to dress down. Possibilities are endless, as they say. And I, I like this one. You know what I'm like with a yoke sweater. Oh. Um, I would have to be doing some serious short rows. I couldn't do with that neckline being as high, but I really like the the pattern. Yeah. And I like some of the colours people have chosen. That's like hair, I love it. I know it's blue. Blue hair. It's fine. Um, so you get to see it on a, a wide variety of bodies and body shapes, which I think is always really good. That one's nice. Matchy, matchy. Yeah, mum and daughter, I suspect. But yeah. So that's what I've kind of got in my cart at the moment. Shall we have a look for that Sadler woman? Oh, God, who's she? Uh. Emma Sadler. Oh, God, not her. Uh... Ravelry says... Uh, uh. Ravelry says... Hey, <laughs> look at her. Oh, yeah, knickers. Stand yeah. knickers. Uh, e. Sadler. Projects. Take yeah. it, I'm looking in projects going, and that. Going down, keep going down. Keep going down. Go on, they're so far, but there. Right, go back up a bit. Not, not that, that one. one not that one because i've already released that one i was on target with that one so it's working a lot harder i took these photos yesterday i don't know if i like that one <laughs> look at my hair have you seen the color oh yeah now that is gray hair rocking those grays yeah so this is with the new iPhone 12. This is with my new iPhone, yeah. There's um the red one is um DK in Bellissima and you can see a couple of specks of snow in it. In fact, where's the where's the red one? Uh is that in the it's project? Another project, yeah. Okay. See how far away it was from me. There, the world's gonna know your name. Why can't I see it? Because you've just scrolled back up again. Down there. That one. I, I only saw the cowl. Uh, <laughs> if you look carefully at the headband in a couple of the pictures, I mean, it was barely snowing, but the phone picked them up. There's a few bits of snow in my hair. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. You see that? Mm. It's not fluff. It is snow. It's not dandruff. It's not, it's not dandruff. <laughs> Because it was actually snowing quite a bit when I first went out and I thought, oh, I'll get some of those really nice photos that people get when they're out in the snow. And then, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so where are we at? Just check the comments. So Helen says it sounds fine there. No echo for Steph. Uh, Helen says she loves Burberry by uh, Isabel Kramer. Helen Gibson's in the house. Hello, Helen. Hi, Helen. Are you still working on socks? What what's on your needles? Oh, and what, and what what progress on gigantic blanket number three? Oh, we need to know. Finished gigantic blanket. Does it have a working title other than gigantic blanket three? Yeah, I can't. I can't believe she didn't go for the Gansey suggestion we made. But uh, maybe there are more cables to explore. Maybe it's because we're in lockdown and we couldn't get to her and physically browbeat her into doing it. It's probably that, yeah. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe so. 
Do you know, actually, I had a really bizarre dream. You know, they say that lockdown makes you go and have all these weird dreams at the moment. I had a really weird one the other week. My friend Elaine works for the BBC, but she does some kind of admin role. I'm such a bad friend. I don't know what she does, but she, she is not on air, TV, radio, whatever. She's not. And I had this bizarre dream. She asked me to come round and look after her cat. She doesn't have a cat. And I turned up and in her front room was set up a table with all this kit. And she went, there you go. There's a couple of records on at the minute. But when they're finished, it's all yours for about three hours. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and she left me on air. <laughs> see, this is where you're panicking. Because I just I walk across the room to get a hat and you're <gasps> heebie-jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like she's left me on my own. Am I going to have to talk? Do I say anything? What, what do I do? <laughs> what does What does Helen say? Should I become unavoidably ill part way through and make her finish on her own? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, I'll oh, sing. Yeah. That's that's all right. You leave me to my own devices. I'll sing. So Helen Curzon says I've been having really weird dreams and I hadn't heard that. But yeah, um, yeah, I've definitely had weird dreams, which which you all know. Helen Gibson says you should sing. <laughs> I'm gonna sing. You leave me on my own, I'm singing. <laughs> and I've had a wine. So be warned, people. Oh, okay. This might not end well. <laughs> so what has everybody been binge watching this week while they've been knitting, crocheting or otherwise just blobbing around the house? Has, has anybody seen any beautiful new yarns that we need to know about or new bases that are worth trying? Or have you cast on for a new pattern that you think is totally terrific and we need to look at immediately? Do tell. We do need to see some more project pages. There's a distinct lack of rummaging going on today, I'm afraid. Helen Curzon says no, we'd, we'd have to listen to the singing. So, <laughs> so I, guess, I guess I'm not off the hook on that not one. Not allowed. <laughs> Helen would never forgive you. So the big question is, have you started reading A Discovery of Witches? I have not started reading. I actually said to Anne and Michelle last night, we need to start a book club and we can meet once a month on Zoom. And then when we can actually meet, mate, then we can have drinks and nibbles and things. Bear in mind, Anne doesn't read. She can't stand reading, but I'm going to browbeat her into this. So um, I'm thinking that Discovery of Witches book one might be my first choice. And, and you could always let her know that if she's got Sky, she can just watch it and then discuss it with you. Yeah. You know, I'm not because it, it's not faithful to the book in that certain characters are not where they would be in the book. But I can understand for budgetary reasons that uh, Agatha and the demons are in Oxford, where everybody else is, rather than Australia. Ah, uh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, one or two cost issues there. <laughs> and then I know, I know the first series was filmed a couple of years ago. However. Everything just seems a bit weird, doesn't it? When you watch things on the TV now and you look at and you're like, they're too close together. I know. It makes me really uncomfortable. Hmm. Um, it went, uh, Bridgerton, uh -huh. if we can talk, those scenes, the wedding night and all of that, um, I'm sort of sat thinking, well, this, some of this must have been done after lockdown. And, and I'm really uncomfortable with something because I'm thinking... Just, you know, stop with the hugging, stop with this, stop with that. No, no. Wipe them down with bleach first. It's just... I saw, <laughs> um, I saw a trailer today for a new drama that's got Keely Hawes in it. Um, Nigel Havers. Nigel Havers and what's the other one? Jo Joanna Lumley. Jo Joanna Lumley. And yeah. the trailer I saw, and again, I'm assuming it was filmed post-lockdown, uh, is her husband dead? Does he die or something? Keely Hawes' husband dies, yeah. So, uh, those two are her mum and dad, and they come round, and obviously she's upset. Mum and dad come round. What do they do? They give her a hug. And I'm watching it. I'm going, oh, oh, stop. Are you in a support bubble? Where's your paperwork? <laughs> <laughs> Watch out that the neighbours are. 
aren't looking. Twitchy curtains. <laughs> oh, Helen Gibson says Queen's Gambit. I can oh. really relate to it. That is a fantastic series. Bill's um, so good. One and said that I should watch it. It's one of the few series that he's actually watched. I really enjoyed it, but sort of sitting there thinking, who's that guy? Mm -hmm. And then realising it's the little boy from Love Actually and how does he get to be a man of that age? When did that happen? Uh, In the blink of an eye. Uh, Helen says, uh, completely freaked out by the actors yesterday visiting one another. What? I, I know. What is going on with the world? It, it's just wrong. It is really wrong. <laughs> stop. Just stop right now. Actually, I was, I was, I wonder if, if we got any of our Canadian friends. I heard, I heard a story on the news this morning. Well, it was social ammunition and it really made me laugh, but I'm hoping it's not one of our friends. In order to beat the curfew, there is a curfew on in Canada at the moment. You're not allowed out. I believe it's six in the evening to eight o'clock in the morning. Okay. Unless you're a dog walker and a woman right. was stopped by the police taking her husband for a walk wearing a lead <laughs> she was trying to end the lockdown rules and i just want to make sure i mean it wasn't catherine was it she she didn't do this hopefully no no mm. catherine catherine wouldn't do that raven might yeah but you know actually catherine and raven have both got a dog so that they've not actually got any need yeah and then somebody was just a bit concerned that this wasn't anything to do with the lockdown and it was just their normal behaviour. And they just. I'm sorry, but oh. hands up anyone who's got a husband who's that well trained. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it beggars belief, really, doesn't it? Yeah. And Canadians are such a sensible nation. I, I don't understand this. Usually so polite as well. Yeah. Uh -oh. Maybe he gave his paw when the police came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no bony o jokes. We'll just no. <laughs> gloss over that one. Leave that one there. So, um, <laughs> now, did we see Helen's? Did she show us her socks or whatever it was that she was working on? Um, she was working on socks, but she hasn't told us what she's working on now. So she's been very secretive. Oh, is it a super secret thing? Or, or perhaps doing Scrabble revision at the same time. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Helen Gibson says, I don't really want to poop scoop that one. <laughs> <laughs> now that's taking it a bit too far with the role play, isn't it? Yeah, might need a bigger bag. <laughs> You're going to need a bigger bag. <laughs> and some marigold sort of elbow length. Oh, really? Oh. You know. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> moving swiftly on Should yes moving on from that um i i'm kind of trying to narrow down my list now as to what i'm going to make in terms of sweaters or cardigans for myself and uh yeah my name's lorraine and i have got a garment problem yeah well a sleeve problem garment knit <laughs> anonymous oh helen says sock number two and she's been doing a mega jigsaw of Ooh. what of what jigsaw of what helen and hall likes a jigsaw uh, I think the last one I did was a thousand pieces or something silly like that. It was a ridiculous number of pieces and it was just baked beans. Oh, is it one of those impossible puzzles? Uh, it felt like it. It took weeks and I was heartily sick of it. And, and I really wanted to take it out into the garden and burn it. And have you eaten baked beans since? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I haven't fallen out with beans. Um, I, when I went to the opticians on Wednesday, I, I had to walk past McDonald's on the way to the car and I thought, do I go into McDonald's? And I thought, no, I've spent enough money today. So I did an Aldi trip on the way home and I, they do some um, pork burgers, slim burgers that are a bit like the um, McDonald's sausage mcmuffin ones that you oh, can have yeah. for breakfast so jake and i had a fake away at home sausage mcmuffin breakfast that that. so yeah it's an undersea scene helen says right. oh, two thousand pieces and it just fits on the table wow it sounds like torture are you really enjoying it have you done all the sort of straight edges or is it one of these with wobblies or curves or yeah 
or is it one of the globe that doesn't have any edges yeah yeah look look for the corners and the straight side what <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny so i'm gonna have to decide what to cast on next yeah i, I don't i'm thinking a cowl with this yarn yeah i think it would go quite well with one of my coats and i like that there's a warm camely color in there somewhere it should be quite flattering um but then it would also make quite a nice um garter shawl maybe striped with something else so i'm dithering a bit okay what with a solid or something yeah a solid or a, another self striper in different colors something complementary but not too contrasting cool. uh helen says straight edges and they were already separated isn't that cheating i i i have no words that's got to take at least a day out of your work hasn't it wow do you pay extra for that you must pay extra for that yeah i would have thought so hello dog arthur's come to say hello oh it's because daddy's not here you've, you've not been dumped <laughs> he was really sad on monday oh bless him he's recovered a bit now I gave him chicken and gravy today, so he's my friend. Oh, well. My dad's in the bad books today. What's he done? Oh, he's upset my mum when they were shopping because Thursday's shopping day, and he said to her and Aldi, we, you know, we don't have the time, bearing in mind they're both retired, we don't have the time to look at absolutely everything. Let's mm -hmm. get what's on the list, look at what we need and get out. My mum likes to browse and look and pick things up and put stuff back exciting as life gets at the minute isn't it really well yeah and she's a great one for oh they've moved that from that aisle to the other one mm. Why? and then has a, a, a good nose and then buys a load of stuff she didn't need because it's in a different place and it reminds her of something else well he wasn't having any of that and then when they got into asda's and morrison's he made her walk up every aisle because the things had been moved and they didn't know where they were. So he just said, well, we'll start at this end, work to that end, and then we won't miss what you want. Yeah. But then he wasn't happy that there were five tills open and over a dozen people queuing at each till or something. And mm. But there were still people out stacking and they're supposed to bring in the queue busters or something if, you, if you're all waiting. Right. And when he's trying to impress upon my mum that all this hanging around and breathing the same air is all these people that you don't know even if you've got a mask on is a danger mm -hmm. and everything you've touched is a risk well they do reckon you're most likely to catch it from the supermarket don't they well that's the only place mike's been other than putting petrol in the car and he caught it he's not seeing anybody i don't go to the supermarket just... oh he helen says it came from a charity shop her jigsaw so maybe they were just checking goodness that's devotion to duty or maybe it was the previous owner uh, that had sorted it into the straights and the edges maybe. for the next time they did it. And then they decided they didn't have the strength anymore. Maybe they died. Oh, don't say that. Or moved house and downsized. Yeah, and they downsized. Didn't have a big enough cupboard for the big jigsaws. Yeah. Hmm. Just got the like sort of eight and up jigsaws now, you know, though. So, um, should I show you? I'll tell you what I have got. I've actually got some of Steph's yarns right near me. Oh, let's have a look then. It is, actually. Do uh, my advent calendar that I got. Oh, I don't know if you noticed on Instagram. When was it? When was it? With it, was, it? You you were doing an opening. Well, it wasn't every day, was it? it? Oh, I am so useless at doing anything every day apart from a shower. I think that's about it. Uh, <laughs> nothing else gets done. So my advent calendar. And look at all these pretties. Oh. Now, I actually, last night, I forgot this until just now i woke up with an idea of what i might do with these well come on do tell you know my um my doing great cowl with the two colors you made one last year in cowlabunga 
Oh, did I? Yeah. I did, yeah. Yes. Yeah. In, in, in that pink and blue. Yes, exactly. So I was thinking if I start a few rows plain and then go in order, so so this is number three. Say say I started a few rows with number three, um, gold sparkle, mm, lovely. And then introduced number four, mm -hmm. it's like the zippy thing. And then obviously, you know, the, the slip stitch. And then obviously that one's going to run out. And then I would get number five mm -hmm. and do number one. Well, that's number six, but it's close enough. And then go through it that way. What do you think? I think that would be lovely. I think what would also be interesting is, um, did you see, uh, was it Jessica uh, Goose Bear Knits had done um, Amber, her rad vent throw? I did see that. And it was a lace square worked centre out and that was she'd used colours from sort of an advent park or something like that. You could design something like that. I could. No, because you've got nothing else to do. I've got nothing else to do. I mean, look at these. <gasps> Pretty. They're beautiful summer colours. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, and lots of cools in there. So, um... Yeah, I'm I'm quite looking forward to getting my mitts on. Oh, that's pretty. Do you know what? Um, this is the first time I've ever actually used minis. Mm hmm Do you still wind them like you would a normal big hank, or can you knit from them like that? I'll just roll them into a ball. By hand. I don't need to get my swift out, do I? No, by the time you've done that, you'll have rolled it into a ball by hand. Look at that one. That one is just delicious. That one is called Italian Platinum. Ooh. How gorgeous. So we need to ask Steph if she's still here. Sorry, oh, she says, uh, sorry, just had to dip downstairs and find you, to care back to find you discussing my yarns. Yeah, well, if you, if you sneak off, no. This is, do you know? Stink, stink off to the toilet. Have you snuck off to take a photo of that blanket yet? Uh, she says she's excited to see your project. I would, I would wind it by hand, says Steph. And Helen says, wind them. There's loads to do. Right. I will be winding them. They are only really short. I mean, by the time you've faffed about with them, getting them on the. Oh. <sighs> I just do mine by hand. Not least, and this won't happen with Steph yarns, I am certain, but it did to me with someone else's yarns. Uh, who was it? Um, the one that does the the shades. Oh, I have to have a look on Ravelry. I did start a shawl with it, and I've had to pull it apart, and at some point I'm going to have to take a couple of the colours and vinegar rinse them. Oh, no, why? Because uh, I ended up with sort of looking like nicotine-stained fingers. Fair enough. As long as you... Um, knitting goddess. Oh, yes, the knitting goddess. I've... The Brit sock. I'll just show you the colour that I was using. Um, absolutely love the yarn. Beautiful colours. Utterly gorgeous. Okay. But... The yellow and the orange stained my fingers and I looked like I'd been smoking a hundred fags a day for about a millennia. <laughs> and it took days of washing and scrubbing to and take the layer of skin off. You didn't even get the joy of having actually smoked all those cigarettes. I know. Mm. And the, the project's called I'm a Donkey on the Edge and I still haven't taken a photograph because I'm just not talking to it. <laughs> Do you know, I love that uh, name, I'm a Donkey on the Edge. How fab is that? Oh, so Italian Platinum is the yarn base. There should oh. be a colour colourway name on there too. Okay, I'll have to look a bit closer next time. Yes, that's that's you told. Yeah. <laughs> Naughty person. <laughs> Italian Platinum mm, sounds lovely. So, what's the composition of the yarn? Is it is it a merino or? Are you asking me or Steph? Uh, either of you, whoever wants to answer the question. Helen Curzon says, I'm pleased you said that about the Brit sock. I will pre-soak mine. Yeah, I'm definitely going to vinegar soak all of the other ones. I've got three or four of them, and I'm going to pre-soak the lot. 
75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Ah, yeah, there's the name. No idea. Morgawar. It's like morg. Morgul. Morgul. You are so much better at pronouncing things than me. Oh, no, I massacre most names, but it's fine. No. The the optician yeah. introduced himself, and I said, sorry, can you repeat that? Because he said it really quickly. And I said, Ethan, and he said, close enough. And then when he wrote his name on my prescription later, it was Li Peng. It was what? Li Peng. What's that? <laughs> Li Peng. Oh. <laughs> Chinese. Oh, I love it. Oh, do you know, it's so embarrassing. I had a student ring today um, and they left a, a voicemail on my mobile because it was before I started work. And I'm embarrassed to say I could not understand what she was saying. I sent them a text message and said, could you please spell your name? But she didn't get back to me. <sighs> it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the number of times I've totally cocked up on names and I do I just think well, I apologize. Yeah, but you you do it with such confidence that nobody even knows that you're massacring it. Ah, so Steph says yes, Lorraine Morgo, the legendary Falmouth Sea Dragon. See, I thought that's exactly what did, you didn't you? knew that yeah. Bit away, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. You said, yeah. I know you said that in your head and I interrupted you and you didn't get a chance to say the legendary sea dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or something like that. Yeah. I know you do. I, I, I love the the sort of the stories behind the names of things. I think that's always fascinating. I'm thinking of calling my shawl flick of the wrist. Because well, it's one of my favourite songs. It's a Queen song. Fact, okay, so we're we're going on the Queen theme and not. I could um I could I could sing it for you today on the outro if you want. Oh, for the outro, oh, yeah. You reckon? Yeah, just before the stampede. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good song. Yeah, so I think I've got three of the. Knitting Goddess Brit Sock Printer Ink Shades. Okay. Um, what else have I got? I've got one that's just blues and greens as well, which is somewhere. I used her Brit Sock in a grey colour. Um, but I couldn't yeah. what it was called. Colour Wheel Greens, it's called. Ooh. Um we like greens. It's very pretty. I've no idea which box it's in. It's in the bedroom somewhere in a box of many. Well, it's a good job you're not going anywhere. Anything. Well, no, that's true. I should do a stock take, really. Uh, Steph says, flick of the wrist, she likes it. Maybe that's your knitting style, too. I do. I do knit English. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely a thrower. Always throwing something or pushing something or shipping something or... Burying someone. <laughs> Well, I, somebody, somebody was um, a bit aggressive rather than assertive in a meeting I was in earlier today, and I, I was on the verge of seriously losing my temper, and I, I think there are still teeth marks in my tongue. Where <laughs> so on the verge of biting it off, and I thought, no, just let it go. So in the end, I composed a lengthy email about what is wrong with this person because this isn't how they usually behave. What's going on? Please go and find out. So, lockdown. Uh, I think it's a combination of lockdown and other things and health issues and they're usually quite eloquent and funny and witty and calm but the last few meetings I've been where they've, they've really been aggressive rather than assertive and quite nasty at times and it's very out of character so I thought I'm going to flag this because otherwise at the next one I'll just be saying look where are your manners shut up or leave yeah what, like you say to me all the time? Most of the time, yeah. yeah. Generally, generally, I just throw you out. Well, I think you've muted me a few times and just not told me. Uh, when you were off your face on the back pain drugs. <laughs> Wasn't that a fun evening, ladies? <laughs> I don't really remember much about that. What, what even was I taking? What was I taking? I can't... <laughs> 
Were you on Tramadol or something? No, I wasn't. I was on something else. I, um, I don't take Tramadol. Co oh, Codimol? No, no. You weren't taking codeine. Whatever you were on, you oh, were. No yeah. idea. It was good stuff. I, I think I still got a couple left somewhere. I, th I think that was the evening where we were talking about pivot tables in Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, <laughs> and you asked, "Was a pivot table similar to a lazy Susan?" So <laughs> <laughs> I see the issue. It was obviously very similar. <laughs> the table moves round. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I did some training on <laughs> Friday, just gone, and um, it was Workforce Development Day, and all the attendance officers had to join in on a Teams meeting to learn about a, a program called Report Suite, right? So this lad comes on to do the training, and um, one of the other attendance officers, and she turned around, she went to him, how old are you? You look 12. And I immediately was just like, oh, my God, you can't say that. But anyway, he was obviously really hot on his stuff because he'd written this program. And he's going to him, all, oh, so um, does everybody know how this works? And they're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of muddle my way through it. And I know this, that and the other. So then he talked about things that they want it to do rather than what it does. And I'm sat there, turn my camera off and my, my microphone off. And I'm like, I've never even heard of report suite what the hell is going on so i sat there for 50 minutes going yeah it's nobody explained to you the concept of ask the question because it's better to look like an idiot for five minutes than be one because you didn't ask well no because there was no way of getting the, the question in because everybody else was like oh yeah yeah i do this and i do that can it do this and and do you know when the meeting just moves on so quickly yeah, what you have to do is imagine you're me and go, Oi! <laughs> I think where the issue comes in is that they're all on a contract. They all worked all the way through the first lockdown, whereas I got laid off, didn't I? So they stopped me at the very beginning of April. I think it was the first or the second of April was my last day. And then they brought me back in the middle of September and just assumed that I was in the same place as everybody else. But they won't know unless you tell them. It's fine. Yeah, you're just going to have to step into my shoes for five minutes and shout your head off. Because we were at a board meeting at BAE, God, it's 20 years ago now, and they were waffling away all these acronyms. And in the end, I stood up and just with a piece of paper and went, house! <laughs> and I could see the chief exec's face, and I thought, I'm dead now, but it's fine. And he just looked at me and I said, I'm sorry, there are at least 50 acronyms that you've used so far in the meeting and looking around this room not one person knows what any of them are so we can we have a glossary of the acronyms of what you're talking about and from then on it was a, but at every other meeting we went to someone had, had passed a note across that said line or full house or something like that and it just became a joke that buzzword bingo bingo lorraine yeah, so it, it it made me laugh that with Boris's announcement on the, the TV last week that a friend had sent an image of a bingo card with we're all in this together, joint effort, amazing NHS, and all of this following the science and all of this. Okay, bingo. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was really funny. It just tickled me. You have to. You I mean, have to. someone obviously writes his speeches for him. I mean, it... It's all the catchphrase. We've gone right back to the beginning catchphrase, haven't we? Stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. You know, we did move on, hands, face, face. And there, there was a bit where we were all alert. Be alert. Yeah, be alert. Be alert. Yeah. What yeah. is alert? I'm not sure. Is it it's the same it's as probably the in the same box as the round to it. A round to it, yeah, yeah. It's more than likely. But, yeah, it just... I don't know. If I don't understand what's going on, I ask the question because I'd rather look stupid, but no. The thing is, in that meeting, you could at least see that other people didn't know what was going on. I could see that everybody knew what was going on. I'd have still asked the question anyway out of badness. Phil said to me, because I, I had the mic off and he said, you should tell them. And I was like, no, I'll just have a play with it. 
there's bound to be a day when there's not much going on what day would that be is that next year that will be next year yeah no it's fine because my line manager has said that she will discuss with me ways of making my um, workload lighter and the first thing she can do is tell the tutors to actually communicate with me so instead of me ringing students and getting told that this tutor already knows about it or that tutor already knows about it it saved me loads of time idiots couldn't organize a drink in a brewery could they but there you are cheers guys so lovely Mm -hmm. so is it time for you to sing what am i singing what did i say oh i'm gonna sing flick of the rest aren't i oh, okay that good queen song that you all know and love from the sheer heart attack album which was their third album and my favorite album yeah you're not into 1970s rock I know some of the older songs, but I've never heard that name, I don't think. It's on, it, like I said, it's on the Sheer Heart Attack album. You know, I haven't got that one. I've got A Night at the Opera. Oh, no, it's before that one. No. Queen, Queen 2, Sheer Heart Attack, then A Night at the Opera, then Day at the Races. It's fine. Not everybody's as queen mad as me. It's not a problem. Now, if it had been Duran Duran... Oh no, Duran Duran um, just got a album put into the 100 greatest albums of all time. That'd be Rio then. Yeah. So, oh, Helen. Helen says she's got two vinyl copies of that, but which one? My favourite one or your favourite one? Oh, well, Helen Curzon says, bye, ladies. She's obviously running off to avoid the singing. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. No, she not... loves my singing. She's ran off to get a recording device. Yeah, so that she can hear it again and again. Yeah, so she can listen to it every single day. She wants it as her ringtone, doesn't she, really? Mm. Oh, sheer. Sheer heart attack. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So I'll so see you all Sunday. Yeah, see you on Sunday. Let me know what you think of my favourite song. Yeah, enjoy Emma's beautiful singing, as let, always. Let me just warm up. Hang on. Shall I do a Daryl Hannah warm up? Are you ready? Ready? Oh. Right. Five, four, three, two, one.